Fever Piano Adventures, level 5, pages 22 and 23. The circle of fifths. The circle of fifths is showing us the changes between different key signatures. So we start in this page 22 with C major, and they have a little pattern that you play. And then, as we add one sharp, we've now moved into the key of G major. And we play the exact same pattern, except this time we have to remember to sharp F, which is in the key signature, telling us to sharp the Fs. Let's take a listen to that. And then we move into D major, which has two sharps, F and C. So we move our hand into that position. And then we go into A major, which has three sharps, F, C, and G. You put your hands in that position, get ready on the sharps before you play, and then play. Now at this point, if you're one of my students, you should already have been working on your scales in the different keys, so none of this should be really new or shocking. This is just kind of a review. Um, if not, you should go buy a scale book and start working through all of these keys. I would recommend Hirschberg's um, Chords and Scales are fun. It's a good book. It's cheap. And they're really not that fun, but it's necessary that you learn all of these. <clears throat> now into page 23, we move into the key of E major. We're going to have four sharps, um, F, C, G, and D. Put your hands in that position. Get ready for the sharps. And then we go <clears throat> into B major. And the way that they're writing this, they're writing them way up here on the, on the uh, treble clef. It goes like this. Now we're down to F sharp major, which has six sharps, and they're going to go over and put us over here. Get your hands ready for all the sharps. And that's pretty much it for the sharps. Uh, C sharp, uh, uh, we, we don't go over it in this book. Um, <clears throat> we technically do, but there's an inharmonic equivalent to C sharp. Um, okay, so now let's do the flats. They start us off on G flat, but let's go to the bottom of the page and start on F major first. Okay, we'll just start one flat and build just like we did with the sharps. Let's put your fourth finger on A and, <clears throat> oh, that's right, they're doing it in C, uh, treble clef, excuse me. So here we go with one sharp, the B, or one flat, the B flat. And now if you look at, just go up a bar to B flat, that has two flats. Um, B flat and E flat. Okay, now go backwards. You should be looking at E flat major. It has three flats. And then go up to the next bar. A flat major. This one has four flats. B flat, E flat, A flat, and D flat. And then go back now to D flat major. This one's going to have five flats. Get your hands in position. And then the final one, where it kind of began on that second bar, G flat major, six flats. <clears throat> Get your fingers exactly how they say so. It says four, three, two, one with your left hand. Make sure you do that. And your right hand's in the bass clef. One, two, three, four. just gets you familiar with them, but like I said, this should be more of a review. You should have been doing your scales already. If not, buy Chords and Scales are Fun uh, by Hirschberg and um, get started on those. They have the scales and then they have a song in each key. So that concludes pages 22 and 23, the Circle of Fifths, just showing you the different keys and key signatures and getting you familiar with them.